Good morning, good people. Welcome to another video. Rob Stewart here. I'm here to help you get your skin and your overall health back on track. As I promised last week, this is gonna be a what I ate today video, carnivore diet-ish, but I'm gonna be upping my carbs with mostly honey, and I wanna show you exactly how I do my higher carb carnivore diet style. First of all, this is my green tea latte matcha ceremonial grade and that honey is just from costco it's unfiltered it is raw and it's from the midwest so it's local it's raw it's pretty high quality for the for the price and for getting it at costco you can't really beat that so as you saw i put in about three pretty decent sized tablespoons into my green tea latte so this thing is pretty darn sweet I don't always start my mornings this way, but I just felt like it. So um, I added some carbs first thing in the morning. I have a pretty active day today. I'm gonna go and play some golf with my pop um, after I get done with some morning work stuff. Um, I'm maybe gonna do a workout later. I might do a little morning movement. We will see how the day transpires. My carnivore diet goes into two forms. One, totally carb-free, zero carb, pretty much all meat. Pretty much a keto carnivore, nose to tail ish style diet. I do that for months or weeks and then I cycle in the carbs like I'm doing right now. Sometimes with the carbohydrates, I use things like sweet potatoes, pears, and low glycemic fruits and vegetables. But over the past month, I've been experimenting with using basically some apples here and there and mostly honey along with a pretty very strict, a pretty very strict carnivore diet. So as you'll kind of see today, it's basically meat. It's gonna be some honey. I might have an apple, I'm not sure. We'll see how the day transpires. I'm gonna go get some work done and then I'm gonna probably do some movement. I'll check back in with you guys in a bit. So getting ready to go play golf um, and we're playing at noon. I haven't eaten yet. I've just had green tea with a little bit of honey as you guys saw. And a lot of people ask me, do I snack? And I don't generally snack. If I get hungry, I like to just eat a full on meal until I'm satisfied and then stop. I don't like to really overstuff myself um, or under eat. But when I golf or when I'm out hiking, I do tend to get a little bit hungry and I'm not gonna pick up food at the golf course or I'm not gonna you know, make sandwiches and bring them along. So here's what I do. I load up on Epic Jerky. Um, usually I like the buffalo with the cranberry. Um, this time I'm doing the uncured bacon and maple. Um, it's pretty bomb. And also I have apples pink lady apples for a few days so what i'll do golfing is i'll bring some apples maybe one maybe two 
Um, and I will also bring the jerky and I have 10 of them. So I'll eat as many as I feel like eating once I get hungry. And that's also another carb that I can bring in. I know from my past that apples and pears work really well for my digestion. They don't cause any issues with my skin. They don't cause any issues with my biomarkers. So as you'll notice today, most of my calories that are coming from carbs and I'm upping my carbs on purpose. I'm seeing where my limit is. Um, and if I can lower my fat and up my carbs and up my protein slightly, what will it do to my biomarkers? What will it do to my digestion? It's just a new experimental phase. So far, I'm feeling really awesome. Um, my carbs have been right around 100 to 150. Today, they'll probably be around the 150 mark. Um, and my fat, when it is, when my carbs are that high, rather, my fat definitely drops just naturally. I just don't feel like eating as much fat. What I've noticed so far is that I'm kind of getting leaner. I'm leaning out a little bit week by week. And also I have just good energy. Um, not that the energy is bad when I was doing the keto carnivore, but just slightly different, just different energy systems. Hey guys, if you're liking this content, remember to subscribe, remember to share, remember to hit that notification bell. Leave all your comments and questions down below. Gracias. All right, so golf is over and golf was good. It was a long day out there. It was very muggy and very windy and very, just the weather was kind of draining. So during the golf, I ate all of the beef jerky sticks. I think there was like five of them. One of them was turkey and almond. Um, and I grabbed it because I didn't mean to. I took one bite of it, it was disgusting. I don't like nuts at all anymore, they're just, not my cup of tea. So that one got spit onto the ground. I fed it to the animals on the golf course, but the other ones, the maple pork and the bison cranberry was absolutely delicious. And I crushed five of those things during golf. And I did not eat the apple because I just really didn't feel like it. I'm starving and I'm gonna jump into my first meal right now. So my first meal, about a pound, maybe a little bit more than a pound of ground grass-fed beef, bone broth, mushrooms, and honey. That's it. I just put it all in a little pot, boil it up. Once the meat is to the place that I like it, I like it a little bit rare inside so it's nice and soft. Then once it's all the, the mushrooms and the bone broth and everything's just all nice and soft and looks good. A pinch of sea salt over the top and then add my honey and I'm good to go. That was meal number one. Okay, so bona fide provisions, nourish and flourish. And no, I'm not selling this product, but it's damn good. So this has beef, bison, turkey, and lamb bones. I like the taste of it, and I also like the combination of the different marrows from the different animals. Okay, so after my first meal, I had some work to do, some videos to edit, some emails to answer. I had a couple client calls, and so I'm eating later on in the nighttime, if you will. It's like 7.30, which I usually eat around 6 for my last meal, um, but I'll eat when I'm hungry, and I'm pretty darn hungry today. The golf, like I said, it took it out of me. Um, the meal that I ate first, kind of the beef soup, if you will, was delicious. I mean, the combination of honey and meat to me is just whew, next level. So I'm gonna make another meal kind of like that. I'm gonna get to it right now. Okay, so what you guys saw there was super basic. It was a rotisserie chicken from Whole Foods. I ripped off pretty much all of the meat, threw it in the pan. Um, I had some really delicious frozen shrimp, these little miniature shrimps, and they've been 
hitting me good lately. So I threw a bunch of those in. I used the same bone broth, a little bit of sea salt, same technique. Cook it until the meat is the softness and the juiciness and loveliness that I want. Then take it away from the heat, pour it in a bowl, add some honey, and it's absolutely perfect. Now, for me, the chicken, I don't eat that that often, but today I had plenty of beef during golf. I had a big old pound and maybe a little bit more of beef during my first meal, and so I just didn't feel like eating more beef. And so instead, I used chicken, which I eat maybe once a week, sometimes twice, and made another soup. And I am stuffed. Um, I am fully stuffed. I am fully done eating. Um, I am done with my entire day of calories. Here's my chronometer, 120 grams of honey for the day, and that puts me at 98.9 grams of carbohydrates. So basically all meat and then honey, 98 grams of it. And that for me is a, like a high carb carnivore day. And that's pretty much gonna do it for me today, guys. That was my full day of eating, carnivore-ish style diet. A Little bit of mushrooms in there too. I forgot to mention that earlier. But it's very simple, very delicious, and it's doing my gut biome and doing my skin and doing my overall health super, super well. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Um, remember, there's a huge individualization process, customization process to finding the diet that works for you. It's gonna take some time. You gotta do some experimenting. You gotta be really honest with your results of your biomarkers, and you gotta make small adjustments so it doesn't happen too quickly, remember. I've been doing this for over 10 years. I've been healed for over eight years. I'm in a constant place of trying to learn new things and experiment with my body and I'm always honest with my results and that's why I've had such good results is that I'm not afraid to make the adjustments. And I suggest that if you guys are struggling, start minimal, then build off something very minimal. I cover all this in the three phases workbook which you can get at holistichealthactivation.com. It's my step-by-step -step guide for healing the skin. Also, for those of you looking to get a hold of me to become one of my private clients, there's a link in the description box for a free consultation. Um, other offerings on Instagram, I'm known as Stuart Rob Stewart. In real life, I'm just Rob Stewart. There's a link down below. There's also a link down below for Skinessa, which is the best skin probiotic ever. It's the bomb. It works really well. I take it every day. My clients love it too. As I said, leave your comments and questions down below. Remember to subscribe and share. Remember to hit the notification bell and I will be back with many more videos really soon. Peace.